youth runner here with uh, Whitney Standout, Sophie Hutchinson. Third place uh, in the girls uh, varsity large school race. Dominant effort uh, by Whitney, five in the top 20. All the veterans back from that runner-up uh, state team uh, really showing up. Uh, well, obviously we get both Sotos, uh, and then obviously we get you and Jane and, and Addison uh, as well. I was talking with the Crystal Springs Uplands athletes, you know, who have won multiple state championships here. Obviously, you, you know what it's like to see a white tent over there and, and be under it uh, in, in late November. What does it mean to you and the group, especially the veterans, to be back here? It just means a lot because we lost three seniors who were pretty fast, but it's it's nice to like still be in like a good like placing wise and stuff like and we're not we didn't lose like that much like it's a whole team like bonding and stuff most definitely well no i mean i knew that this uh this group you know was uh, was always going to remain close but just uh how proud have you been i mean again you know no one's going to replace the Kopeck family no one's going to replace carissa yeah. but like just the fact that the group has been so cohesive and it, like it, it hasn't mattered if it's you know here at Woodward Park if it's at Willow Hills you know you ladies have, uh, have you know, really rose to the occasion multiple times already in September and October like how exciting is that how encouraging is that that it's like hey you know we're, we're still as formidable as yeah. we as we've, we've been in division two it's like really exciting because like I mean like going into this year I was like we're still like gonna be like a pretty strong team like in our like do, like section but then, like, after today, I'm, like, really, like, just proud of everyone because I think, like, was it, like, four broke 19? Yes. Yeah, that's, like, a huge achievement. And, like, that's, like, I think last year only two broke 19. So I'm just really happy for everyone. Most definitely. How much do you feel like you have gained more understanding and familiarity and developed a rhythm on this course? And, mm -hmm. again, for, you know, for the veterans, you know, who know what it was like at whether rough rider last year obviously at the state meet last year just i mean again obviously i think the, the fitness is indicated by the fact that four you know are right around you know 1905 or under but then obviously the, the fact that you know the understanding of like what, uh, what really works well not just for sophie hutchinson but you know again for jane for addison for the sodas like how much of a benefit has, has that been the more times that you ladies get you know, get to come here like that you just feel like you kind of understand a little bit more each time it's like a huge benefit because like we understand it more and we can like tell the younger ones like what the course is like and help them like understand the course. Most definitely. And uh, in, just in, in terms of, you know, the people just being the best version of themselves, right? Like I said, like no one's ever going to replace Katie Kopech or yeah, Ava yeah. Kopech or Carissa, but just all, all of these incredible women and you like just being the best version of yourself. Mm -hmm. And if you are like, that's going to take care of not only San jo Sac Joaquin section division two, but you know, get you right back in the conversation with Ventura and St. Yeah. Francis Mountain View, you know, battling out for those state podium positions on November 30th. Like how important is it that this, this group has its identity? No one's gonna take away that plaque mm -hmm. from last year. Like yeah. let's just celebrate the group we have now. Yeah, it's really important because like, we know what we want and we have our goals. So we're gonna aim for the podium again this year. Awesome, uh, stay healthy. Wishing you and the group all the best. Mm, Fantastic you. effort today, great job. Thank you.